My name is John Allered, and I'm the lead pastor at Freedom City Church and also the executive director of the Hope Homes Adult Teen Challenge. I was also at one time a hopeless heroin addict. My life changed when I had a radical encounter with Jesus in prison while in solitary confinement. I also went through a one-year Christ-centered residential program that helped me to get my life back on track. My wife, Hannah, went through the Long Island Teen Challenge. Our experience is what inspired us to open the Hope Homes of the Ozarks in 2016. The vision of the Hope Homes is to see those struggling with addiction and life-controlling issues find freedom and community within the body of Christ so that they can fulfill their God-given purpose in life. And that's exactly what we see happening. We are seeing lives, uh, uh, we are seeing Jesus transform lives. Just recently, the Hope Homes have partnered with Teen Challenge USA to become the Springfield Adult Teen Challenge. Pastor Jim Bradford from Central Assembly serves as the vice president. And you know, in the last five years, we have seen hundreds of lives impacted uh, by Hope Homes. And we believe that this partnership is going to help us be even more effective. You know, statistically, eight out of 10 people released from prison today will be back in prison on new charges within three to five years. In our program, we have seen 90% of the graduates don't go back to prison and 85% are clean two years later. You know, these aren't just numbers. These are, these are people's lives. Like, like Tyler and Jerry that graduated on Sunday when you were there, Pastor yeah. Don. See, these, the lives impacted by Hope Homes, it reach, reaches far beyond the lives of just the men themselves. And, and it affects families, and it's affecting our entire community. And there's a great need to reach those struggling with addiction in, in southern Missouri. And no, we, we know we wouldn't be able to do it without those that support our ministry. You know, today we're honored to have Southern uh, Missouri District Superintendent Pastor Don Miller here with us. Pastor Don, thank you for your support uh, of Adult Teen Challenge. Thank you, John. The heart and mind can overcome nearly every emotion, but there's one emotion that's nearly insurmountable, and that's hopelessness. Mm. The feeling of despair, of being in a situation where there seems to be no way out. I remember the first time that I sat, John, with residents of Hope Home. Here were men and women who came out of horrendous backgrounds. All had been in nearly impossible situations. But when I looked into their eyes, I saw hope. Mm. Through the grace of Jesus Christ and the ministry of caring team members of Hope Home, they had been pulled from the pit of despair Lives which were nearly destroyed by life-altering habits had been transformed. Yes. But we need to see this happen many times over. In this area and across the nation, the opioid crisis has risen to nearly epidemic proportions. Others are struggling with addictions, poor choices, which are trying to destroy their lives. There are so many more hopeless individuals who need to be introduced to a way out of the despair. The Southern Missouri District believes in and wholly endorses the ministry of Hope Homes Adult Teen Challenge. We trust that others will come alongside this amazing organization with support of prayers and giving so that even more lives can be transformed and changed. Thanks again, John, for all that you do and all that the Hope Homes Adult Teen Challenge do to effectively, radically affect their community for Christ. Thank you, Pastor Don. We appreciate you. And, uh, you know, we appreciate the support of the Southern Missouri District, which has gotten behind us since the very beginning. And, you know, friends, I want to ask you, would you consider partnering with the Springfield Area Adult Teen Challenge right here in Southern Missouri District by making a one-time donation or supporting us with reoccurring monthly giving. Uh, or I would like to ask pastors out there if you'd be willing to have, a, have our team come out there and just share testimonies of what God is doing. You see, most of the people we serve do not have any money for program fees, 
and 100% of your gift will go towards sponsoring a program participant. Thank you.